guys, it is time for my biannual wardrobe clear out. I tend to do this twice a year when spring comes in and then again kind of when autumn winter comes in and I find it so helpful for kind of staying organized, keeping my wardrobe tidy. It's such a mess at the moment, kind of giving it a good deep clean and then also just rediscovering clothes in my wardrobe and getting new outfits without having to spend money and buy new clothes. So the first step is to pull everything out my wardrobe, which I just find so daunting and it's like all over my bed and it's such a mess, but I just feel like it's a good opportunity to give my wardrobe like a proper deep clean. I've got a cloth, I've got some method spray and I'm gonna actually like clean it. And then I'm gonna start putting stuff back in. And whilst doing that, I'll put things aside for storage that maybe it's too warm for now. And I also might rearrange my wardrobe as well because I think I'm gonna switch up where I keep my jumpers and where I keep my jeans and trousers. The weather is definitely feeling more spring-like here in the UK, but it's not like really warm yet. So I don't wanna put all my jumpers away, but definitely the thick wintry jumpers can be put away in storage. So let's just start, let's see what happens. I really hope I can like keep the motivation to get through this whole thing. I tend to kind of flag halfway through, but let's start by pulling everything out. This is my side of the wardrobe. You guys have seen this before. So I've got like a long hang, I've got short hang trousers, and then I've got loads of stuff up in the storage as well. I've got like spring summer stuff up there. So I might look through that as well. Okay, let's do this. because I've done all of this hanging section. So everything's on the bed and I've kind of done it in piles of jumpers, jeans, trousers, shirts and tops. And now I'm just gonna give this a good clean with my method spray because the hangers, as much as I love my hangers, they do kind of molt and look, you can see how dirty this is, gross. method isn't going to work because I haven't even got to my dresses or jumpsuits or t-shirts or long sleeve tops and my bed is covered in clothes. What I've also realised whilst taking stuff out my wardrobe is that this is a really weird time to be doing this for like a few reasons. One, because of the last year, because of the pandemic, I feel like I haven't worn so many of my clothes, like silk shirts, and I can't imagine wearing them, but I don't wanna get rid of them because I know that the world at the moment isn't a normal world, and maybe one day I'll start going out in the evenings again. And also because I'm a mum now, and I've got a toddler, and I keep finding things like handbags, and just thinking like, when do I wear handbags? Like occasionally on the weekend, if Rich takes the baby bag, I'll wear a handbag. But again, maybe because I just haven't been going out in the evening with friends, I haven't really had the chance to wear a handbag. So I should keep stuff just in case. Like I'm not gonna be in this phase of my life forever. <laughs> but it is kind of a weird, like when I look now at my bed, I've got so many like tracksuit bottoms and loungewear sh sets and like no kind of nice going out clothes. <laughs> Originally I had my jumpers here, but I think I'm gonna try switch things around and hang my jumpers down here and fold my jeans and kind of joggers and put them here. I know a lot of people don't like to hang jumpers, especially more delicate ones, because it kind of can ruin the shoulder. But I find that it doesn't really for me and my hangers are very kind of lightweight and I think it's fine. I think I'll get better use of seeing my kind of joggers and trousers laid out here. I'm gonna give it a go and see if it works. So anything that I know fits me and that I like, I'm just gonna put straight in, but anything I'm unsure of, I think I'll just put to the side and try them all on together at the end. I literally had to buy all new jeans after having gray. Okay, I folded my jeans here, which I think I do like the look of. They're just there, they're easy to grab. I've put my skinny jeans at the back because I don't wear those as often, but I still like them when I'm wearing like an oversized jumper or shirt. 
And then I've got all my kind of blue denim, straight leg cropped jeans here and a black pair as well. And those are all of my jeans. And I think on this shelf here above, I'm gonna put my trousers. So I've got like, I've got joggers, like proper tracksuit bottoms. And then I've got like smarter joggers I'd wear out. How many joggers are too many joggers? Like I have so many, but ones like this, I just wear all the time, just lounging around the house, like the majority of my time. I've got one pair of joggers that no matter what I do, can you see they always get kind of like fluff on them? If anyone has any tips for avoiding that, I don't know if it's from the tumble dryer, or maybe from being washed, I'm not sure, but I need to, the fluff is annoying. I folded all of my trousers here, so I've got like relaxed loungewear joggers on the left, and then smarter trousers on the right. And then I've just got one pair that I want to try on that I'm not sure about. I think this works. I'm gonna just like live with it for a couple of weeks and then if I decide I don't like it, I can switch them back. But for now I like having these here and I've put some of the kind of sets that have matching jumpers, I've hung them down here. Okay, this shelf is slightly harder to reach so I'm gonna put my hoodies and kind of very relaxed homey jumpers because that's where they were before and it worked fine. Let me show you how I fold a hoodie because I kind of love it. Okay, so I lay it on its front, arms are folded in and down, fold up twice, and then you fold again and you loop over the hood and it kind of makes it a little like hoodie burrito and it makes it much easier to kind of keep all in one place. Okay, I'm kind of doing this in all the wrong order, but I'm just starting to put things back in and I haven't even taken down the spring summer boxes yet. Whoops. Um, but I'm just gonna start going through the jumpers. I don't like looking at the mess on my bed. I feel like I need to remember this for next time. I like doing it bit by bit. But things like this, I can definitely put in storage. This is a cashmere white company, like, like high neck jumper. It's definitely not gonna be that cold. So anything like this, I'm going to throw down to the side put it in storage. I've got some like fluffy jumpers and I just can't imagine it's gonna be cold enough. I don't know. Oh, that smells like my perfume. I don't think it's gonna be cold enough for this sort of jumper. Oh, I feel like I hardly got any wear out of this mango jumper, but again, it's so kind of such a big knit and it's so fluffy. I feel like, and it's, and it's high neck. I feel like that time of year has kind of passed, but I'll definitely get wear out of it next year as well. So it's just gonna go in storage for now. And then I've got some slightly thinner knits, like this one from And Other Stories, which is so nice. It's like a shirt collar. It's very weighty and stripy. And that is perfect for this time of year. I love this jumper so much. It's Arquette. It's a massive, oversized cashmere jumper. I'm gonna put it in storage, but it's ever so slightly bobbly. So I'm just gonna use my steamery Pilo shaver, pilo shaver, I call it a debobbler, and just kind of go over that, give it a once over before I fold this up and put it in storage. Oh my God, I've got loads of big fluffy jumpers that can go in storage, this is great. I'm gonna keep this one out, which seems a bit strange, but I like to wear it to lounge around the house in. It's from Arquettes, they just do the softest cashmere. It's a very high neck, really, really oversized jumper, but it's just very cozy. So I'm gonna keep this one out because I like to wear it at home. Sometimes in the evenings, it's a little bit chilly. Okay, the jumpers are all in and it actually works down here. There's only like one really long jumper that's touching the bottom of the wardrobe. I don't really mind that. Pretty much all neutrals apart from these two at the end. So there's still quite a few jumpers that I've kept out, but the big kind of chunky ones I'm going to put away in storage. There might be some lighter jumpers that I can add in here that might be in my spring summer storage. But for now, that is looking pretty good. And now I'm going to hang up the tops that I wanna keep up here. If you asked me if I like and wore shirts, I would probably say not really, that it really suit me. But I have so many shirts, and actually I love all of these shirts, so I completely didn't realize how many shirts I have. Let me run through a few of them as I put them back into the wardrobe. This one is from Jigsaw Men's, actually Rich's shirt. It's really nice. This one is a really oversized linen shirt from Arquette, which I just find so handy to have, especially in spring, really nice, like tucked into jeans. This one is from Me and M. I've got a really oversized white shirt from And Other Stories. I think for a white shirt, it looks better on me if it's really oversized. Although I do have this one as well from Zara, which isn't like tight fitting, but it's a bit, it's a bit less oversized and it's more of like a silky material. It's got these like big pockets and that's nice when I like, 
I'm going out. This one also from Zara, very oversized like pinstripe shirt. And this one from And Other Stories, which I love. This also looks really good like over a swimsuit in the summer. Lots of shirts, who knew? I've also got a couple of kind of fancier tops from me and M. These are really nice because they've got fancy sleeves that kind of stick out. Also got one of these like really sheer silk ones and they could just stick out of like a jumper or something, which is really pretty. I also like to hang my Anine Bing t-shirts just because they're like a bit more special than my other t-shirts. They feel more like tops and I like to be able to see them. So I've got that one and I've got the one that just says Bing and I love them. They're like slightly thicker. I just find them a really flattering shape. I bought them off just after I'd had grey. It was like my first like treat after, you know, trying to make myself feel a little bit better about my body. So although it has kind of weird memories, I feel like they're nice memories as well. I've got some like summer bags on the bed that I need to decide what to do with. I've got my workout clothes that I need to find a place for and I've got a pile of things I need to try on. But other than that, it's looking quite tidy. I definitely prefer this method. So now I've opened up this wardrobe. Let me turn you around. In here are my long hang things. So I've got some like longer jumpers. I've got dresses. I've got like dungarees, jumpsuits. I've got a trench coat because this doesn't fit in our coat cupboard downstairs, which is really annoying because I feel like I'd wear it more if it was near the front door, but it, it would like drag on all the shoes. So that kind of lives in here. I'm going to pull everything out and then see if there's anything I need to try on, see what's gonna go back in the wardrobe. Oh, I need to give this wardrobe a really good clean as well. We've got this in the wardrobe randomly because our gutter in the winter leaked. We were worried that it was gonna cause some damp in the wardrobe. I think it's all right though. I'm gonna take it out because it's like slightly annoying to have this in the wardrobe. Oh my God, this is the cashmere robe that for some unknown reason I thought was a good idea to wear when I was in labor, I think because I, Thought it was like, it would like, you know, help with the oxytocin because it's cozy and I love it. But yeah, I mean, it got disgusting, <laughs> luckily. I mean, poor dry cleaners, but brand new. <laughs> I love this. It's just so cozy. I'm going to keep this in here. I've got a jumpsuit from Hush. I've got a linen blazer, which I just never know. I always end up keeping this because it does kind of suit me, but then I don't know why I never wear it. I'm a bit like scared of blazers. Oh my gosh, I love this dress from Whistles. So sad, I haven't had anything to wear it to, but I'm definitely gonna keep that out. These were actually uh, maternity, are they? But I'm gonna keep them because they're comfy. No, guys, look, that is mold. That's mold. You know, I was just telling you about the damp. That means that behind this, behind this, between this and the wall, we've got damp. Shit, what are we gonna do about that? Okay, that was a curveball. So basically, <laughs> we had like, uh, one of our gutters was overspilling last year or just before the winter. And we got it fixed as soon as we could. Obviously with COVID, a roofer couldn't come out and have a look at it for ages. We got it fixed as soon as it could. It was raining so much and there was loads of water pouring on and our neighbors had a bit of damp in their bedroom. And I remember us thinking like, we can't really tell if we've got that issue because we've got these built-in wardrobes and it's like MDF on the wall, which isn't really ideal anyway, but it's the only choice we had. But basically I think there's a load of damp behind the wardrobe and you can't see it like there's no visual damp there it doesn't even smell damp but did you just see my clothes they have mold <gasps> that one item of clothing the one that's been against that wall has got mold all over it oh my god i can't believe it that's so gross i've never seen that ever i've just googled it apparently it's quite common apparently you can like drill holes to get like the air flow through but we're gonna get our builder to come back and like take off the back of the wardrobe. Hopefully he doesn't have to like take them all off. Then we'll have to completely redo them. That'll be a nightmare, but maybe he could just take the back off and see how bad the damp is. Maybe we have to take some plaster off to let it air. Oh God, I can't believe I've literally just uncovered like a whole issue there. And now I don't know where I'm gonna put all my <laughs> like long hang clothes because I can't really put them back in there. I'm definitely gonna leave the door open. Is it safe to sleep in here if I'm getting mold on my clothes? Oh. Okay, I've had lunch. I had a lovely burrito and I've had a cup of tea and I think I'm just gonna carry on. Pretend that didn't happen, right? I'm gonna carry on, but I won't put clothes in this part of the wardrobe. I think what I'm gonna have to do to make space is like fold away all of my, I couldn't find my pocket there, fold away all my occasion wear, my dresses, which even though I like to see them out, 
and as the weather gets warmer I might wear them at the moment I don't need them so I'm gonna put those under the bed and hopefully like free out I think I'm just gonna leave this open and see what happens we've spoken to our builder he's gonna come and have a look these high up sections are so handy so in there's all my like high summer stuff so swimwear things that I would literally wear on a beach or by a pool and then up there are summer dresses for when it's really warm I've just put my occasion dresses here for the moment it's not ideal but at least I know it's like away from that exterior wall and I'm gonna get started on this drawer which is t-shirts I haven't got loads I had a really big clear out recently I've got a few more here that I need to add in so I'm just gonna kind of tidy up this drawer a little bit okay those are the t-shirts done I kind of like to fold them like this so I can instead of on top of each other so I can see what they all are much easier so that's that drawer done and I think these are all kind of long sleeves so I could probably put these all away in storage although I'm kind of running out out of storage space there's a gap there <laughs> I've got this terrible habit of holding on to workout clothes I mean I've got my like sports bra on my top of my leggings that I wear when I do the peloton but I've got like zip ups and tennis outfits and shorts and things that I don't wear but I always hold on to them just like hoping that one day when I'm like done having kids maybe and I really throw myself into the exercise thing <laughs> one day I will get use out of them. I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. So they are going to the back of the wardrobe. Just, I would really like one day to like really get into fitness and just be the sort of person that loves going for a run. I have a neighbor and I always see her running. She's got three kids. She's like done with having kids. And she just, when they go off to school, she goes for a run. I just, I wanna be that person. <laughs> For now, these are going behind the jeans. Guys, I'm almost done. I've got this little pile here of clothes that I'm gonna need Rich to, I'm hoping that we've got more storage boxes in the loft and then I can put it in a box and then it can go near the damp and it will hopefully be protected. So many spare hangers from the jumpers that are going in storage. I've got some bags, summer bags I need to go through and I need to put just some of these little bits like tennis outfit um, under the bed. I'm gonna quickly go through my underwear drawer, which is just such a mess, like an embarrassing mess. I find it so hard to keep my underwear drawer tidy. Also, has reminded me I really need to order some new socks. <laughs> I think I've just got a couple of bits to try on and I'm almost done. This jumper sadly got slightly ruined when I was last getting my hair done. I didn't realize, but they must have accidentally got some bleach um, under the cape. It's kind of made it go a bit orange and there's a bit um, on the sleeve somewhere as well, which is a bit annoying, but it means I can just like wear it at home. It doesn't really matter. Oh, you'll be pleased to know I've cancelled my next, had a hair appointment booked in for June to get my hair coloured and I've cancelled it. I'm just going to let my colour grow out so my hair can like recover a little bit. I just feel like my hair, when it's like dark, dark brown, it makes me look paler and I don't know, I just don't feel like it suits me but um, my hair needs a break. So um, I'm definitely, I've canceled that appointment and I'm just gonna see what happens to my natural hair color over the next year or so. Okay, the wardrobe is looking good. My makeup has literally disintegrated throughout this day, but I've just got these bags. I'm not sure where to put them because they're, they're quite big. It's quite hard to store them. These are summer bags. So I've got this one, which was from Topshop years ago, which I just love. It kind of looks like that um, designer bag, but it's just like a simple rope bag. And then I've got this one, which was from the White Company from a job I did with them years ago. Again, love that for summer, for holidays. Wait, was that one White Company? Or was that one Hush? And then this one is White Company. I also really love this one. Which one should I keep? That one or that one? Or do I keep them both? Oh God, I have a third straw bag. This one is from Mari London, who was a really nice girl who sent me this. This one's got like a bamboo handle and this one zips up. So quite different to the other two. Then I've got this bag, which is from Loxley, England. So this is in the category of, I don't really wear handbags at this stage of my life, but maybe one day I will. It's a really nice leather like bucket bag. And then I've also got a bucket bag from Cezanne, which is a bit more of like a stiff navy leather. Also really nice. This bag is from Nex, which is a bit random, but this is very good on like holidays because you could just shove it over and like put all your stuff in. But will it be good for holidays when I have kids? I haven't used this one for like a few years. I have this tiny little Chloe bag. This was sent to me like with a perfume years ago and 
it's I mean it's so tiny you can't even fit your phone in it so I never ever wear it it like goes cross body it's got a little chain but I just think it's so cute like imagine if I could give that to Grey one day to wear but then I think like she'll get really spoiled if she gets given like a Chloe bag I don't know but then like because I was sent it it seems silly to get rid of it because I obviously I'm not going to sell something I didn't buy so I think I'll keep it in case Grey wants it one day it's so tiny it doesn't take up much space but it's just so cute okay so I need to find a home for all of those bags oh my god I found another bag this was from and other stories last year I love this bag okay so I have a lot of bags to find space for in this wardrobe but other than that I feel like I'm pretty much done feels good to have done it feel a bit stressed by the whole damp wardrobe situation i feel like um we're gonna have to rip apart our lovely wardrobes but apart from that i think it's been a success and maybe it's inspired you guys to do a bit of a wardrobe clear out yourself i am all for doing this like switch around thing even if you don't have much space for storage just moving things around in your wardrobe so the things that you want to wear in that season are at the like front of your wardrobe and easy to get hold of i feel like it makes it easier to get dressed and know what you're gonna wear and makes me excited for like the season ahead i just i don't don't want to be opening my wardrobe when it's hot and sunny and have like loads of winter jumpers staring back at me so i love doing this two times a year i also really need to do this for gray's wardrobe but that's a whole nother ball game but i think i'm gonna leave this video there for now it's currently half three and i started this at 10 so it's taken all day i hope you guys enjoyed watching along a little bit and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>